Still his nation. Omar Khan, the black and gold, we're getting active today, man. Trade deadline officially has passed. So, you know we got to react to the moves that we did make, man. So you already know the drill, man. Hit that like button one time for the culture. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel, man. Um, uh, Earlier today, about uh, two hours prior to the trade deadline, um, Pittsburgh Steelers first traded a 2025 fifth round pick to the New York Jets for Mike Williams, wide receiver, uh, former first round draft pick. Um, he had just signed with the Jets this offseason, man, after spending the majority of his career out in L.A. with the Chargers. We also, about an hour later... <laughs> went and traded our 2025 seventh round pick to the Green Bay Packers for outside linebacker Preston Smith, dude that I'm a big fan of um, in terms of his game, man, the production that comes with him, man. But um, with both of those guys, man, I think very unique in the sense of what they bring to the team. Uh, Mike Williams, man, let's start out with him. You got competition at the wide receiver room first off, man. Obviously, we know GP is GP. But Mike Williams' production throughout his career is going to put Calvin Austin, Van Jefferson, it's going to put those guys on notice. It's going to make them feel a little bit more urgency because of the production that comes with this guy. You're also getting a, a former high-end talent, man. This guy was a former first-round draft pick. I believe it was the seventh overall when, um, when he came out out of uh, Clemson. Big speed, leaping ability, man, a ton of potential. Unfortunately for him, it hasn't always been the most consistent production, but he's produced a lot at this level, man. So with that, man, like I said, I do feel good about the fact that we're getting another high-end athlete, man, a guy that has defining characteristics about him. And we'll see in the sense of Coach Tomlin, the office staff, man, what can they do to maximize what he brings to the table? But as a whole, I think that that's a, a nice asset, man, a nice additional piece to rest to this offense. Another piece that's going to help out this running game because it's going to keep safeties out the box. You cannot just continue to walk down in that box with Russ out there. And more importantly, with a guy that can stretch the field, that can, you know, take advantage of certain things, man, from a coverage standpoint. So, like I said, I like that a lot for, um, like I said, for what uh, the Mike Williams element is. Now, for Preston Smith, I'm a big fan of this one. I don't see pretty much any negatives from a team standpoint. I mean, this is a proven pass rusher, 10 plus years in the league, hovers around seven, eight, nine, like those gonna be, you know, who he who he has been throughout his career. He has had a double digit sack season before, I believe it was his first year in Green Bay. But um, this is a dude, man, that has been Batman before and he's been Robin before as well um, in terms of him as a pass rusher. Can win the one-on-ones. It's not always flashy in the sense of moves, but it's efficient. He has that game where it's like, yo, I know how to win. And that's what he does. He just wins. And he's Johnny on the spot at times, too, as it pertains to just lucky bounces, man. Turnovers going his way. He has a, he has that element going on as well, man. But um, really, really good player, man. Big body um, in terms of his frame, man. True outside linebacker body type. A guy that you're going to be able to um, utilize in terms of run defense, what he brings. And then also, man, like I said, he can win the one-on-one -on -one in terms of pass rush. Um, instant depth. Uh, when you're talking about TJ Highsmith, we know Herbig is hurt right now, but you got a guy that's bona fide, a guy that has started predominantly predominantly in the NFL, and um, a guy that has starter experience and potential even right now. Now, I think he slots in at that third spot right behind Highsmith, slightly ahead of Herbig. And it gets interesting when Herbig comes back, man, because that room becomes a lot more competitive as well. But as a whole, man, I like both of these moves by Omar Khan, man. I think, uh, you know, adding that second receiver, man, a guy that has a lot of talent, a guy that has um, produced at this level and has done it for, a, a, you know, a good amount of time in his career. I like that a lot, man. It adds another weapon to Russ. It boosts that, uh, that wide receiver room. And then to give me a pass, Russia, a defender, another one. Yeah, no, I love that, baby. So. That's how I feel about it. But you guys let me know your thoughts on the Mike Williams and Preston Smith trade. Now that the trade deadline is officially over, how y'all feel about it? Do you like it? Would you have went a different direction? But either way, you know I appreciate you for tuning in. And until next time, baby, peace.